it's a case of when it comes to how Miami Dolphins fans are reacting to a quarterback's career. There are many parallels between how the fanbase is reacting to Tua Tungavailoa and how the fanbase reacted to Ryan Tanhill during his seven-year stay in Miami. One would have thought Dolphins fans learned a good lesson fighting over Tanhill for the better part of a decade. Unfortunately, history has repeated itself through the first 11 starts of Tungavailoa's career. It doesn't have to be this way. As a fanbase, we can course correct and alter the way we instinctively react to a Dolphins quarterback. For better or for worse, here are seven lessons Ryan Tanhill can teach us about Tua Tungavailoa and, ultimately, give him a fair shot in Miami. Acknowledging a mistake doesn't make you a hater. Like politics, sports have unfortunately become a place where you're either on a team or you're not. There are no centrists when it comes to sports takes. You either agree with someone or you don't. In Tunga Vailoa's case, you either defend him to the death or you're a hater. You can't point out a flaw or the Tua Brigade breaks out in full on whataboutisms. We need to do better. Reasons for playing poorly shouldn't be confused with excuses. Football is a team sport. That means Tunga Vailoa can't succeed or fail on his own. He certainly can help overcome some of the Dolphins' downfalls, but he's not a superhero. Given that Tunga Vailoa was injured this past week, he can only do so much, especially when it seems that he's not even given a chance to succeed. As long as there's evidence to back them up, reasons aren't excuses. They're valid, and it's okay to provide them as context when Tua doesn't look like the champ we want him to be. Eventually, the quarterback must overcome the team's weaknesses. For seven years, Dolphins fans made excuses for Ryan Tannehill's failures in Miami. At some point, it's the quarterback's job to overcome his team's weaknesses and be the reason they win anyway. Dan Marino took terrible teams deep into the playoffs. Teams with no running game and bad defenses. It wasn't always perfect, or even good, but Marino made it look a lot better than it should have. If Tunga Vailoa can't accomplish similar things, Miami has an obligation to find someone who can. The quarterback must be a vocal and respected leader. Ryan Tanhill tried to lead by example in Miami. He wasn't the most respected player on the team or the loudest in the huddle. He just went to work and the chips fell where they fell. Tunga Vailoa has to take control of the team and be the leader and face of this franchise. Not being selected as a captain this season was a terrible look, no matter what anyone says. That has to change. Tua Tunga Vailoa needs to be the unquestioned voice and leader of the Miami Dolphins. Practice patience before making a decision. Ryan Tanhill had plenty of time to prove himself in Miami, which is why Dolphins fans should feel nothing when he succeeds elsewhere. He was given ample time to succeed in Miami. He had multiple coaches and entirely different rosters around him, and he failed anyway. Dolphins fans should want Tua Tungavailoa to get at least half the waiting period as Tanhill did in Miami to prove himself so there are no regrets. He deserves enough time to prove with certainty that he won't leave Miami and become someone else's star quarterback. The team can't fail him either. Excuses can be reasons, but context must always be a part of the equation. If Miami continues to fail Tua Tungavailoa by changing the coaches and players around him every season, they'll be repeating the same mistakes the team made with Ryan Tanhill. Stability and patience are a prerequisite to successfully grooming a quarterback in the NFL. Miami has to give Tunga Vailoa the tools and stability a quarterback requires in order to win. If a better player is available, pull the trigger. Everyone is replaceable, including Tua Tunga Vailoa. Miami cannot waste half a decade trying to figure out whether he's the guy. If you're still asking if he is going to be our guy next year, he's not going to be our guy ever. If Tunga Vailoa cannot prove he's a bona fide leader and star this season, Miami should make a play for Aaron Rodgers. They owe it to themselves after years of waiting around for quarterbacks to prove they're special. The fans deserve a win-now move, not a years-long tryout.